that's it that's the intro what is up guys butter something here in today's video i do want to talk to you guys about the new star round as well as flashbangs the star round was added with the 12.8 update last monday to escape from tarkov alongside the ks-23 m shotgun and this shotgun has definitely made it a lot easier for people to kind of get that flash quest done for jaeger so i definitely appreciate the sentiment behind that but a lot of people in the community are very angry with this round in particular and i kind of see where they're coming from but we also need to remember that this was just added a lot of people are going to use it we don't know how it's going to affect battle state games and escape from tarkov in the long run but to kind of you know talk about this issue one thing that a lot of people in the community do agree on is that they need to lower the amount that you can buy per vendor reset. I think a good number, personally to me, is about three, which I think currently it's about at a six. And I don't really use these, so if I'm wrong about that, you know, please let me know in the comments below. But that being said, I think three would definitely be a very, very good number to be at overall because the vendors reset you know once every two or three hours i believe it is and you've already done two raids you've used your rounds you can get them again so on and so forth but what i also wanted to talk about today is what battle state games can kind of do to really negate the effect but not hurt it completely so i've done a lot of research in the last week since this update has been brought out and what i've noticed is that in real life, there are ways to protect your ears from the bang that that flashbang gives off. So right now, already in game, we have Swordens, Razors, as well as Tax Sports. And I think that these definitely need to be able to negate that bang. A flashbang can go off about at 175 decibels. And your eardrums, usually, they say, can be blown out at about 150 decibels. So... We're getting concussed as well as blinded, but I feel that if BSG added the ability for you to not be concussed if you're wearing sword ends, tack sports, or razors, I definitely think it would be a little bit more balanced overall for the game because you would still be able to hear those footsteps. And to kind of even balance that a little bit more, you could not be fully concussed. You could potentially just have a lower hearing level because you're headset is trying to adjust from a loud bang noise and trying to auto adjust since it has that ability for these tax board swords and razors so that being said i think the concussed effect if you're using any of these headsets should definitely be negated quite a bit and your hearing should still be viable granted just not as much as it is when your ears are acting you know normally so footsteps would not be as loud as they usually are if you're you know, not flashed. But the second part of this, and you know, it's kind of a big deal. I know that a lot of people want Escape from Tarkov to be pretty realistic, but there are things in this game that are not 100% realistic and you know, on point with what is going on you know, in real life. So they just made it so that Fleers, and I made a video on this, by the way, that Fleers themselves cannot see through glass. And that's something that's, that's real. They can't see through glass. So that being said, they just did that. This might be something that they add if they see enough people supporting it. So as of right now, there is no real life way to 110% not be blinded by a flashbang. There's a way to maybe negate the effects, but I couldn't find any evidence or videos on that at all. So my thought process here and what we can possibly do is... You know, when you walk outside and you maybe maybe you have prescription glasses or just regular, you know, really nice regular sunglasses that when you walk outside, they start to darken. Maybe we can do something similar along the lines of goggles for the game. And what I mean for this essentially is when you get flashed, those goggles would go to 110 percent just darkness, great darkness. It's much easier for your eyes to readjust after those sensory organs get Flashed or you know hit by a quick burst of light if you're in a dark room so you know how when you're you know maybe going to the bathroom at night and you turn that flash you know you turn your lights on and you get find it like this that's essentially what a flashbang is doing but a thousand times brighter 
and I don't necessarily know if that number is accurate, but a lot brighter. So if we could essentially have that burst of light and then you turn that bathroom light back off, and as you know, as the example states, your eyes adjust a lot quicker than they would to you keeping the room, you know, bright. You're still, you know, you're still kind of blinded while your eyes are adjusting to that light. So if you got flashed in game and we had an in game, you know, type of goggles that would, oh, I've been flashed. I have to darken and go to blackness. If you have headsets on, like I've suggested and made it so that you can still hear footsteps. If you're trapped under, you know, black pawn in that long hallway, you know where the doors are. You can listen to either that person running away or running at you and kind of negate for that effect and, and move and get out of, you know, harm's way. And that darkness from those goggles after you've been flashed would make it so that you recover a little bit faster. Right now, I believe recovery is between five and six seconds. Maybe they could cut that in half with those goggles. If you have those goggles on, it would flash, darken. Three seconds later, you could see again and you would be good to go, essentially. You would much have a much higher chance of surviving. And although, again, not realistic and not something that is in real life, it's something that they could add to the game to maybe make it a little bit more enjoyable for those people that are really getting flashed a lot. And again, like I said at the beginning of the video, we don't know if this is a massive problem that's going to stick around after the 12.8 update because right now we're in a you know lull when it comes to content. And most people are you know, level 30 above finished with most of their quests. So they have access to all this stuff constantly and they kind of don't really have anything to do. So a lot of people are using these. <clears throat> we don't necessarily know if this is going to be something that's going to be always an annoyance. But what we do know is that if they do add something along the lines of this, I think it would be a lot better in the long run for the community as a whole and definitely something that would be more enjoyable and I guess pretty well received as a whole when it comes to the flashbangs in Escape from the Park. But if you guys have any feedback, definitely make sure to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. Definitely, if you guys thought I did something, you know, good, bad, definitely leave a comment for that as well. And if you guys have been here three or four times and you've been enjoying the content yourself, definitely make sure smash that like button or clap those cheeks above me make sure you're subscribed to the channel you guys on the next